So the perspective grid has been blowing up a little bit on Twitter recently. I knew it was something super annoying, especially when you first start out in Illustrator, but I wasn't quite sure just how many people get frustrated with it. I'm gonna show you how to hide the perspective grid in Illustrator. Let's hop in and find out. So here we are to turn on and off the perspective grid with the shortcut key. It is shift command I on a Mac or shift control I on a PC. And then to turn it off, it's the same thing. Shift command or control I. I'm sure that's basically what you needed to know, but let me show you one other thing. You might accidentally hit it. In the toolbar, the perspective grid is also shift P. And so if you do shift P, that's gonna turn it on, but shift P doesn't turn it off. So that just pulls up the perspective tool grid. If you're back on the selection tool, you can't click the X button to turn it off. So you actually have to be on the perspective grid tool to turn it off. And then it's tough to click that little button. You gotta get the hand and it says hide grid. So don't worry about shift P, do shift command I or shift control I to turn that perspective grid on and off. Mostly off, in my opinion. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials like these. This, like this one. I know this was kind of short, but um, I, you know, sometimes I know people are really frustrated with it. So I just wanted to create a quick little video showing you how to turn that on and off. I'll see you guys in the next one.